G'day and welcome to ep- episode 76 of the Guy Who Sews podcast. My name is Sean and this is my weekly podcast where I share my quilting adventures. I'd like to welcome both new and returning viewers to the podcast, but if you are new, I would love it if you take just a few moments to say hi in the comments so we all know we have a new friend. Come see what I've been working on and what I've, what I've finished, but let's go ahead and get started because i got a lot to share. i got a lot of sewing done this week. I'm super excited about what I got done and what I got achieved and what goals I met. But let's go ahead and see first of all what I did. The first thing was the Mythical Darksons. I wanted to get the entire quilt top done. I didn't quite hit that goal, but that's okay. I got the blocks put together. I just basically now just need to put the sashings in. And so hopefully next week we'll get to see the completed quilt top. Um, so this is what we got done. You've seen this part before. The Griff Ween is what they called it. And then also the Uniween, which is this wonderful little one here. And I hope you can see it okay. But what we've done is we've gone ahead and added this wonderful heart and I actually snagged some of the pink sheen from the Wizard of Oz. I thought that would look really good on this side here. And so all together, I hope you can see it okay. And you can actually go back to last week's episode and see the other two blocks that I showed you last week um, as well if you missed that. And then this is the other one with all the mermaid dogs. We've seen these before, but we've also gone ahead and added the crown and the jewels that we made a few months ago in one of my lives. And so this is the completed block here, and I think it looks really good. And these are pre- you know, pretty big blocks, so um, it's been a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to seeing the completed quilt top, and hopefully that'll be next week. And then the other thing I want to show you is the gnome that I was, was building yesterday. I've got about a third of it done and it's going to be a graduation gnome and that's going to be a lot of fun there. So keep an eye on that one and we'll see more progress on that as weeks go by. I still have a lot more to share so don't run away but now it's time to do our week in review and if you haven't seen that before it's just a series of clips that I take during the week mostly of me sewing but we also like to include the dogs and any adventures we get up to so I hope you enjoy. Last week I asked a question about what marking pens or pencils you guys use to mark fabric and I loved hearing all the answers. I got some wonderful feedback on this and I may end up doing a video on maybe some of the different types that you guys suggested just to see which one works best for me and some others. Let me know in the comments if that's something you'd like to see. But let's now move on to this week's question which is do you put stickers on your sewing machine i know some people do i have my logo on my machine and i'm considering putting some other stickers on it at some point but i'd love to know if you guys have stickers on your sewing machines and if so what sort of stickers do you have do you have some nice bright colorful ones some fun ones with fun sayings etc i would love to know let me know in the comments so now it is time to talk about my goals last week's goals were to get darius quilt done which i was able to achieve and you'll get to see that a little later in the episode so stick around for that and also to get the mythical darksons quilt top com- completely put together and we fell just a little shy of that but that's okay so this week's goals are to try and cut out the fabric at least for the next piece of the wizard of oz which will be glinda the good witch and also to actually just go ahead and finish off the Mythical Dark, since I'd also like to get some more work done on this, but we'll see how we go with that. So let me know what your goals are for this week in the comments. 
So in case you missed it, I had one video come out, which was my live from yesterday morning. I had my special guest, yes, guest. I actually had two this time, which I thought was a lot of fun, which was Martha from Martha's Creative Life and Robin from Cotton Cuts. And I, we put together the gnomes, which I showed you a little earlier in the episode. And we thought it'd be fun to try and see if an absolute beginner could put one of these um, things together. And you'll have to go check out the video to see how well that went. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed having that event. And if you haven't seen it, definitely go back and check the replay. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. So upcoming videos, I have one planned video. And if I can get more out, I will. But right now we have this live for next Saturday morning, the 17th of June. And I'm going to have my special guest, Nicole Reed from Nirvana Lee Designs. And she is another Australian. And I'm super excited to have her come on. She's a lot of fun. I've been watching her channel for quite some time, and I think it's going to be really fun to hang out with her. So definitely check that out. It's going to be at 8 a.m. Eastern on Saturday morning as usual. I hope to see you there. And now it is time for me to share with you some purchases I made this week. It was mostly fabric for some upcoming projects, some t-shirt quilts that I'm making for some friends of ours. And I thought I'd share that, that with you. And the first one is this wonderful yellow, and we'll wait for the camera to pick up on it. It's um, by Norcott. It's almost like a grunge. And it's going to go along with this beautiful blue, which I believe is the Ocean by Kona Cotton. And these two are going to go together. This will be the binding. And then the blue will be the sashing in between the t-shirt quilts. And then for the second one, we're going to use a nice lavender for the sashing and probably the binding. And then the, for the third quilt, we'll have this nice cream color as well. I also got some um, more of more thread from Joanne because I had a really good sale. It's like 50% off. So I picked up like six of those all together because I go through that really quickly and then the other purchase you won't get to see for a couple more months but I decided to join the sew along with Art East the Alice in Wonderland one I can't remember exactly what they called it I bought the kit which is all Tula I know I've never used Tula and I thought this was a really good excuse to try it out um, so we'll probably see that in August and the um, event will start in September and I'm really looking to see, looking forward to seeing all that and now it is time for one of my favorite segments showing a completed object and this time it is actually a completed quilt the last couple of weeks I've been working pretty hard on a time crunch to try and get the quilt done for Daria, which is the pinwheel quilt. And I'm excited to say that it is done, it's completed, and it's actually now in Europe. It went back with Daria early this week. Um, I did pre-record this so I could show you before it left, and it just turned out beautifully. I used a turquoise binding, just kind of solid, nothing fancy. And then I also did some um, straight line stitching around the border here, and then earlier you would have seen the scalloped edges in between each row. So I'm just going to pull it back up a little bit, show you real quick. Can't show the whole thing. I'm going to put a photo up here real quick, but I'm super excited it's done. Daria absolutely loves it. She just lit up. She loves all the colors in it, and it'll definitely lay on her bed and get used for many years to come. So I'm very excited that's able to share this with her. So now I have quilts in three different continents, Europe, Australia, and North America, so how pretty, how cool is that? I always love hearing from you guys, I, I really appreciate all the likes, the comments, the emails, and everything else that I receive each week, I just kind of express to you how much that means to me, so if you did like the video, hit that like button, share with a friend, so we, you can grow this family a little more if at all possible, I hope you get all the sewing in that you want, I hope it all goes well, that you don't have to pull out our best friend who shall not be named, and I just... Yeah, hope you all have a great day and happy sewing, and we'll see you all next time. Bye.